hello there everybody welcome to my channel so today i am going to make a dress and it is my first time making a full dress so i will make the the bottom of the dress the skirt of the dress the same way uh i made the the pinafore dress so it will be just an uh, a-line a uh, skirt and then here in front of me i am trying to make uh, a pattern or a template of my top of the top of my dress or of the bodies of my dress okay so i just want to share with you how I'll go about uh, a kind of making this uh, the, the the template of the of the bodice. Okay, so we have the the vertical line there, and then we have the the horizontal line there. Okay, so the vertical line is from uh, a shoulder to waist. It is about forty centimeters, and then the horizontal line is is shoulder to shoulder measurement divided by two. So it is half of my shoulder measurement there. Okay, so it is 35 centimeters divided by two. I got 17.5, but I just made it to be 18 centimeters. Okay, so I've made uh, some measurements and I've made dots already. So what I'm going to do that you will see me doing now is that I'll try and uh, and connect the dots. Okay, so that this uh, video is not too long. Okay, so the next line that I will draw now is a line that will come from there up to there, which will be from shoulder to underarm okay so from shoulder to underarm is about 22 centimeters so that is i've already made a dot there so i'll just connect the dot okay so that is what i am just connecting the dot okay okay and that's the the line from shoulder to underarm and then the next line now to put down is uh the bust line okay so it will be around here so the bus line now the measurements you take your bus measurement and you divide it by four you so you make it into a quarter now the bus measurement and the waist measurement you make them into into a quarter you divide them by four okay so i'm gonna draw my bus line now so there's the dot for for the bus line so it will be from here up to that dot okay i've already measured so now i'm just connecting the dots okay bus measurement and you divide it by four and then you put your dot there and then i'm connecting it and now the next line to draw is the waistline okay so now we come here at the bottom there is the dot we will start there from 40 centimeters from the shoulder to the waist is 40 centimeters and then now we are looking for the uh, waistline okay so to get your your waistline you take your waist measurement and you divide it by four okay and then I've already made my measurement and then there's my dot there. So I'll just connect it there from the start there to, to that dot there. Okay. And then there's your, your waistline. And then the next thing now to do is that you can connect your bus measurement and your waistline. Like so. Okay. Those two, they connect now. Okay. Okay, now, so because the shoulders also will be here now, so because the shoulders are not straight like this, so we need to make uh, a slant here, okay? So to make the slant, you take uh, the shoulder measurement, the, sh the full shoulder measurement, and you divide it by 10, okay? So when I take my full shoulder measurement and I divide it by 10, I get 3.5, okay? So you measure your, your 3.5 coming in like so here okay so you connect now from there and then to make that that slant there okay so we have the the slanted line there okay. so now the next thing is that you must have this line from here to here you must find midpoint between this from now this is your new show from your shoulder to your waist okay you find a midpoint here on this line so i'm gonna do that just now so what is this line now is about 19 centimeters. So when you divide it by two, you get what, 9.5, okay? So the, the midpoint there is about 9.5, okay? And then on the midpoint there, you go in by about one centimeter. Just one centimeter, you go in there, okay? Put a dot there. So the next thing now is that I must try and make it that uh, the armhole curve there okay so i'll go like this so it will go like this to there okay let me try that's why it is important to have a curve ruler okay yeah but as you can see well, it must be something like that okay to make
make your own home okay so yeah it is that kind of something so that is supposed to be your armhole there okay so now we come uh to the neck area okay so we come here so i will take on uh, my uh, my neckline here by two centimeter i think i've already made a dot here and then i will take it across like this by six centimeters there so the six centimeters i got it by dividing my neck or circumference by five okay so that, that is what i got i got about 6.6 .6, but i i'm just gonna use it as, as, as a six centimeters okay so i connect those dots the two centimeters two centimeter down and six centimeter across i connect the dots and then i kind of connect it there as well okay so it makes that kind of shape and then the next thing here as well I need to make a curve because uh, the neckline is not a, a, a straight thing like that. So I just kind of make a curve like that. Something like that. Oh gosh. Okay, yeah, something like that. So now what you are seeing now is, a, is the back, the back template or the back bodice. Okay, I think I've done everything. That needs to be done. We've got the neckline, we've got the armhole, got the waist. And now I'm just going to make some few changes to note the front. Okay, so this is the back. Okay, so to, to, to make some small tweaks uh, for the front, you go there on the armhole. You must take in again about one centimeter again. Okay, just on, on that half there, on that half measurement, same as that one. You take in you go in by one centimeter because the front arm hole is a bit are, are, are deeper than the back arm hole okay and then here on the neckline so you only make changes on the arm hole and the neckline same here so here on the neckline as well the neckline as well the front leg neckline is deeper than the back neckline so here you go down you go in or you go down by eight centimeters and then across it will be still that six centimeters okay and then you just connect all the dots centimeter and then you just connect those dots and then you connect it there as well okay i should make this uh in a different color okay i will make this uh the back neckline and the armhole neckline in a different color so that it's clear and i I know. Okay. So that is the front there. And then. <coughs> and here again, I'll have to make a curve there. Let me just try. Make a curve. Oh my god. okay i hope yeah there's my curve as you can see it and that is it that is my template so what i'm gonna do now is that i will just cut it out and then i will use it uh to cut my upper dress or my body's dress okay so i hope that i did not miss anything everything is covered okay so let me cut it now and then i will put it uh on the fabric so here i have um the template for the sleeve okay so it is the first time making the sleeve as well so we will see how it goes okay so what i'm gonna do now is that i'll just go and cut this out and then just go and put it uh, uh on the fabric okay so i nearly forgot to to curve the the front neckline there so there you go i've made a curve for the front neckline so now let me go and cut uh, my bodice.